Hi, I'm Jonathan Emmett. I'm a children's author from Nottingham. And I also design pop-ups. Here's one of the pop-up books that I've designed. This is quite an old one. It's called Emergency Rescue and it's illustrated by Christian Fox. And it's a book of emergency vehicles. So there's a police car in there, a, an ambulance, a fire engine, a lifeboat and right at the end a helicopter. Now as well as designing pop-ups I also write picture books. Here are some of the picture books that I've written and today I'm going to show you how to make a pop-up featuring one of the characters from one of my picture books. It's this picture book here, Prince Ribbit illustrated by Polly Bernatina. Prince Ribbit is the story of a cunning frog who tricks some princesses into believing that he's an enchanted prince. Now here's the Prince Ribbit pop-up that we're going to make, so let me show you it. So let's find out how to make it. So to make this pop-up you're going to need a sheet of A4 paper and if you've got slightly thicker paper that's ideal or some thin card, not too thick because it'll be too difficult to, to fold if it's too thick, but if you've only got printer paper you can use that as well. You're also going to need some felt tips or some pencil crayons, one or the other, you don't need both. I'm going to be using felt tips because it's going to be quicker for me to colour in and you also need a pair of scissors. Now the nice thing about this pop-up is that it only needs two cuts with the scissors and five folds. So we're going to start by making the first of those folds. So we fold our paper in half and when I do this I like to line up the corners of the paper so it lies exactly, so the corners lie exactly over each other and then once I've done that, I hold the paper down with one hand firmly and I push in the crease with the finger of my other hand. I get a nice tight crease by pressing hard on it, and running it along. Then turn the paper around and fold it in half again. Again, I'm just going to line up those corners, hold it with this hand and push in the crease with the other hand. So we've now got it folded into quarters. This will be like the front cover of the pop-up and that's going to be the inside of the pop-up, the pop-up itself. Okay, I'm going to open the paper out again and fold it back along the long way. So this is going to be the inside of the pop-up down here and that's going to be the cover. And Next I need to make a cut. Now I'm going to draw in where the cut's going to go with this pencil. You don't need to do that. The only reason I'm doing it is so that you can see where the cut is going to be more clearly. Okay, So I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a gentle curve that goes up to here. About two thirds of the way along the paper and you want to start about two thirds of the way down from the middle crease of the paper. When you make this cut, what you want to try to do at the beginning is to cut at right angles to the fold. So can you see right at the beginning of that cut, it is at right angles and it curves off. Okay, so let's make that cut. And this cut is going to be the mouth of our frog. Okay, once the cut is in place, you now need to put in the the first of the proper pop-up folds and when you do this you want to fold up like that but you don't want to fold along this existing fold line that you've got in the middle of the paper you want to fold about a finger's width down okay so there's that fold about a finger's width down from the fold we've already got in the middle of the paper and then we make another fold of about the same length on the bottom half of that cut. Okay, so can you see you've got two folds about an equal length 
the different shapes because it was a curved cut that we made. Then when we've done that, we flip the whole thing over and we fold back the other way. And this is something that's useful to do with pop-ups generally because it makes the folds work better. So we're folding back, so we folded both ways. I'm gonna fold back again when we go back on here. Now we're ready to make the second cut and this cut is for the eyes. We only need to make one cut because it's gonna cut both eyes at the same time. And the eye cut goes on this large folded piece up here. I'm going to draw that in so you can see where it's going to go. Okay, so I'm going to draw a cut a bit like that. And again, I started the cut at right angles and then curved off right angles to the fold. Let's do that one in. There we go. And I'm going to do a fold at the end of this cut as well. So I'm going to do the fold that like that. So this fold here and that fold there are parallel. Can you see? If I hold it like that, you should be able to see where that fold actually is. I'm going to press hard to get it in, and then I'm going to flip it over again and fold it back the other way. And that is all of the cutting and folding that we need to do for this pop-up. The pop-up bit of it is more or less finished. Let me show you how it's going to look. It will look a lot better when it's coloured in, but you'll get an idea of how the pop-up works. So this bit here, that's going to be the frog's mouth. I'm going to put my hand in there to fold it out a little bit. These two little cuts that we've made there are going to be the frog's eyes. I'm just going to fold that shut having pulled them out a bit, press down here to get the top head, top of the frog's head working, and I'm going to do the same with the bottom, press that down. And there you go, you've already got some idea of how this pop-up is going to work, but it will look a lot better when it's been coloured in. So first of all, we're going to colour in the bits inside the frog's mouth. And to do that, we can open it up and work on it like this. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold the paper in half and then I'm going to fold this top bit down and that's going to give me a guide to show me where I need to colour. The first thing I'm going to do is draw in a dot for the frog's eye and this dot needs to be in about the middle of this gap here. So if I put a tiny dot to start but I want a a nice big dot, about a centimetre across a circle, about a centimetre across, and I'm just going to shade that in, so I get a nice black dot there. And I put it in about a mid, in, in the middle of this gap, but if I hold my pen over it, you should be able to see that it's on the line of the crease as well, so that should give you an idea about where that dot needs to be drawn. When we've done that, we're going to flip the top of this paper over and turn it over and do exactly the same thing on the other side. So a little dot, I'm going to put in where the middle of that gap is. Draw another circle about a centimetre wide. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly a centimetre wide, it'll give your frog a bit more character if one of its eyes is a bit bigger than the other. And again, I'm just going to quickly going to shade it in. Now we're ready to colour in the inside of the frog's mouth. Let me just show you first of all. We've got two dots that sit either side of the paper. On the inside of the frog's mouth, I'm going to colour orange. When you're picking your colours for the, the frog, you need two contrasting colours so that as the pop-up opens and the mouth opens, you get a flash of colour. So I've picked green because that's a, a standard frog colour, frog skin colour, and orange for the inside of the mouth. If you haven't got these two colours, it doesn't matter, but try and pick two colours that contrast, that look very different from each other. So let's colour in the frog's mouth. First of all, I want to have a sort of white space around the frog's eye, so I'm just going to draw in the outline of that space. And what I'm doing there is I'm just copying this shape on this side where the cut is and mirroring it mirroring it across, flipping it, 
so that we get this sort of eye shape. Once I've done that, I'm going to trace along this crease. And then I'm going to flip the whole thing over and do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm going to copy this eye shape over, trace along the crease, and now when I open it up, I'm left with this shape, which is the shape that I need to colour in with the orange. So I'm going to do that quickly now. So that's all coloured in and already now we should get some idea of how this pop-up's going to work. So as I open and close the pop-up you get a flash of the eyes and a big flash of orange as the frog's mouth opens. Now let's colour in the outside. When you're doing this make sure you open the pop-up up so that as you colour on this bit it doesn't go through to the inside of the pop-up. Okay, now because this is Prince, Prince Ribbit, I'm going to give this frog a little crown at the top of his head. There we go, little orange crown. And then I need to colour in the rest of the frog's head. And you can see where you need to colour in by following the outline of the creases and the cuts. But I'm going to color in that outline for you first of all so you can see the area that you need. But it should be obvious once you're doing it. So that's the shape we need to color in on the front of the pop-up. A word of warning, if you're coloring in with, wet, with felt tips, and you haven't got a nice big cutting mat like this, it's a good idea to put some paper underneath as you colour in, because as you colour over the cuts, your felt tips might bleed through to whatever's underneath. And if that's a nice tablecloth, then you might ruin your nice tablecloth. So make sure you're colouring on top of something that you don't mind felt tip getting on. Let's colour that in. Now the last thing I'm going to give this particular pop-up is a bit of a body. So here's some shoulders. And we'll give him some arms as well. Another one on this side. And there we go, all of the colouring is finished now. We just need to fold our pop-up back into shape. So you probably find that you need to just pull everything back out again. Just put your hand in the mouth, lift that up push the eyes up if you need to, pull the bottom lip down and then just fold it down carefully, press it shut and let's have a look at the finished pop-up. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. There's our Prince Ribbit pop. Now, once you've made a Prince Ribbit pop, if you fancy making another pop-up, you can use exactly the same folds and cuts to make something different. So here's a different pop-up that I've made using the same folds and cuts. This one is a purple alien. And can you see his eyes and his mouth open in exactly the same way? 
And the only difference between these two pop-ups in terms of how you make them is the position of the cuts and folds. So let me just fold this one back again so that we can see the inside. And I'll fold this one the same way. You remember when I cut this, I cut these two folds here. Well, first of all, I cut a curve for the mouth. And then I, I, I made these two folds here about the same length. Now with this one, with the purple alien, I cut a wiggly line for the mouth that goes straight across. And the two folds, this is a long fold and that is a short fold. And that will change the shape of your pop-up's head. You can make the eyes a little bit different too if you want to. But it's the same fold in more or less the same place. So there we go, it's our purple alien pop. And that's our Prince Ribbit pop. I hope you were able to follow all of those instructions. But remember, because this is a video, if you couldn't follow anything, you can always pause the video and rewind it and watch that bit again. I hope you will make your own Prince Ribbit pop-up, or perhaps a purple alien, or even a creature of your own. But whatever you make, I hope you enjoy making it.